You know, imagine if you had all the money you could dream of, all your debt was paid off, and you were surrounded by the people you love most in the most beautiful location you can imagine with all the time in the world to enjoy it, but you felt like shit. It would suck, straight up. You literally would not be able to enjoy it. You are listening to the Wealthy Woman Podcast, and I am your host, business coach, and wellness mentor, Dr. Michelle, and my mission is to teach conscientious women entrepreneurs how to create a life full of health and wealth from the inside out. In this podcast, you'll learn how to elevate your health and implement business strategies so you can awaken your inner power, show up more confidently, and focus on what really matters sharing your gifts, better serving your clients, and showing up even more for the people you love. This is today's successful woman, the wealthy woman. Hey there, and welcome back to the Wealthy Woman podcast. The energy is moving. I don't know if you can feel it, but it has been an amazing, amazing month. Earlier uh, this month, I was in San Diego at a women's transformational immersion retreat, and it was literally a life-changing experience for me. I don't know if you saw some of my lives or um, things like that on Facebook or Instagram, but you know, I really don't say that lightly. Um, I'm actually going to be putting together a podcast for you that talks about that experience and how it has really shifted things for me, both personally and professionally. So stay tuned for that next month. So last week in part three of the Creating Abundance in Your Business series, we talked about my general nine-part formula called Transform. Um, And you can use that to elevate your health, okay? But this week, I want to talk with you about what it really takes to elevate your business and keep that business success sustainable, okay? So now, I'm not going to be talking about strategy here because that is not necessarily my zone of genius, but instead, I want to guide you to take a deeper dive because whatever it took to get you where you are in your business today probably isn't going to be enough to take you to that next level. So as high achievers, we've always got our eyes set on that next goal, right? We're always looking to expand and make more impact in the world while at the same time creating more freedom in our lives, right? So I know that we talked about health last week, but This week, like I said, I want to invite you to dive a bit deeper. I want you to tap in and ask yourself, what symptoms have you been ignoring? Have you been having trouble falling asleep or maybe waking up at 3 a.m. wide awake and not able to get back to sleep? Have you been having a hard time getting out of bed in the morning, you know, wishing you had a permanent snooze button? Or maybe you are hitting a wall at 2 p.m. where your energy is crashing and you're desperately reaching for something to snap you out of it. Or, you know, maybe you've been having headaches or even migraines here and there. Right? Maybe your cycle is super screwy and your PMS seems to be getting worse month after month. Right? Ask yourself, in what ways have you been pushing your health to the side? Maybe without even realizing it, right? Usually it's unconscious, right? Because as high achieving women with big dreams and a shit ton of responsibility, time turns out to be one of our most valuable things, right? And sometimes our health takes the back burner, right? Because we need things to be convenient and we need things to be efficient at all times, right? But what good is time if you don't have your health? You know, what, what else do we value? So we value our success, right? But what good is money if you don't have your health? Really, like sit with that for a minute. You know, imagine if you had 
all the money you could dream of, all your debt was paid off, and you were surrounded by the people you love most in the most beautiful location you can imagine with all the time in the world to enjoy it, but you felt like shit. It would suck straight up. You literally would not be able to enjoy it, right? So again, I invite you to tap in. What symptoms have you been ignoring or pushing to the side? Because the thing is, these symptoms, as minor as they may seem at the moment, are signals from your body. It's your body's way of telling you that something is up and needs to be addressed, right? Something is out of balance and your body is trying to let you know that it's time to pay attention, right? When we constantly dampen that signal with things like Advil or Monistat or laxatives or, you know, even herbs and supplements that you might find yourself reaching for at the store, you are telling your body to shut up. You're telling your body that you don't want to hear those signals anymore and eventually your body listens. It shuts up, right? And when our body stops talking to us or when we choose not to listen to it, we lose that ability to tap in and connect with our body and address those underlying issues before they get the the best of us, right? When that disconnect happens, we set ourselves up for disaster. We are literally risking everything because the fact is chronic disease isn't something that you just wake up with. It's a slow and steady progression that can easily, easily slip under the radar, but end up costing us more time and money in the end. And on top of that, it limits your ability to enjoy all of the amazing things that you've worked so hard for. So when I say chronic disease, I'm referring to that scary shit. I'm talking about cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, you know, all of that shit that you really don't want to have to deal with later on in life. And I'm not saying this to scare you. Kind of quite opposite, actually, because the amazing thing about functional medicine and whole body health is that it completely empowers you to be in control of your health. These chronic diseases don't just happen to people. It's not like they just chose the short straw, right? It's a matter of daily choices that were made and not made, you know, like, sorry, not sorry if that offends you, but that's the truth. Our body is not programmed to sabotage us. Our body has an amazing ability to heal itself. And, you know, for example, our, uh, our liver, right? It's a major detox organ and the organ that is largely responsible for producing our proteins. So our liver is able to regenerate up to 75% of its tissue in just three to four weeks. Like, whoa, right? So those of you who are out there who are like, you know, oh, it's too late for me or I've already done too much damage. I mean, hey, I, I was in my 20s once too, right? We've all been there. But the cool thing is that with the right testing, we can look under the hood and assess, you know, what that current situation is so we can create a truly personalized plan that is completely tailored to your specific needs when it comes to nutrition, lifestyle, and targeted nutrient therapy. And we can easily map out the choices that you need to be making on a daily basis to prevent you from becoming another statistic, right? So, Back to business, the most common issues that women come to me with that are affecting their productivity and overall uh, like performance, I kind of hate that term, but I, I think we all know what we're talking about, right? But these symptoms are fatigue, brain fog, uh, headaches, and issues around their period. And I don't want to like toot my own horn here, but these symptoms are easy to deal with. Seriously, especially when we know what we're dealing with. And that's why I always say test, don't guess. There's no point in wasting time, energy, and money on throwing darts and hoping that something works, right? You don't have time for that. I don't have time for that, right? So let's see what's going on and work with what we know 
And it's really that simple. So something else that has actually been coming up more recently are, um, is around fertility. So I know a lot of high achieving women, they end up postponing pregnancy because they are putting so much time and effort into their business, right? Their business is essentially their baby, right? And honestly, I can I can totally relate. I'm 35 and I'm only just now considering what I need to do for preconception care, but there are women who are 5 plus years older than me who are now very successful and, you know, super comfortable in their business, but they're having a lot of trouble getting pregnant. So this, again, is another area where we can really take a look and see where the disconnect is. We can identify areas of nutrient deficiency, inflammation, hormonal imbalances, um, and things like toxicity. So we can take the time needed to prepare the body and grow a little human, right? And, you know, for for women, this preconception care phase can take up to a year sometimes, but when, you know, time is really, really, really of the essence, there are still so many things that we can do to support fertility. So if this is something that you've been working on, please reach out and let's uh, get things back on track. Okay, so in regards to today's episode, I'm curious, you know, what what came up for you? What symptoms um, or signals have you been pushing aside? Have you been getting in the way of your body communicating with you? You know, are you ready to take a look under the hood and start making the choices that will enable you to enjoy all of your hard work for, you know, decades to come, right? So if you are a powerhouse entrepreneur making six to seven figures and are ready to take your health to the next level, I would love to chat with you. You know, along with doing video consulting, I just started offering VIP days where I will actually fly to you, do a complete home walkthrough, review all of your labs, and create a personalized plan that you can walk away with that includes a tailored food plan, lifestyle modifications, and targeted nutrient support. So to learn more, head to wealthywoman.co, so that's W-E-L-L-T-H-Y-W-O-M-A-N.co, and click work with me. And I will also link to that in the show notes for today. So that is a wrap for today. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you want to learn more about becoming a wealthy woman, I've created a guide just for you. It's called the Savvy Woman's Guide to Wealth, and you can find it on my website. I'll also link to that in the show notes. So let me know what you thought about today's episode. What symptoms have you been ignoring. Uh, Hit me up on Instagram, send me a DM, or take a screenshot of you listening and tag me at wealthywoman underscore. All right, otherwise, tune in next week for part five, where I talk about the top six functional medicine lab tests I run and how we can use them to uncover underlying imbalances and how you can get started. So I will chat with you next week. All right, ladies, thank you for listening to another transformational episode. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? (laughs) You know my mission is to help inspire and empower women to share their gifts, better serve their clients, and show up even more for the people they love. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave an awesome review so more women can find us and join us in creating a life of wealth. (music) 